<laughs> Guys, is it too soon to refer to Bisiswe Mkwebane as the former public protector? Is it too soon? Because I think after yesterday's statement by the president, I mean, I think it's safe to, to refer to Bisiswe Mkwebane as the former public protector. What are your thoughts on that? Because you remember on Monday, the, the National Assembly basically kicked Busiswe Mkobane out. They voted to kick her out. They no longer want her as the public protector of South Africa because they believe that she is incompetent, basically. They believe that she doesn't know what she's doing. So they voted to kick her out to basically impeach her. And yesterday, President Israel Ramaphosa released a statement and on the statement the president basically fired Busiswe Mkobane. And on the statement the president says, on the 9th of June 2022, I wrote a letter informing you that I have suspended you from the Office of the Public Protector in terms of the Section 194 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa pending the finalization of the proceedings slash inquiries initiated by the Committee of the National Assembly established in the terms of Section 194 of the Constitution. The committee has finalized the inquiry and submitted its report which concluded that you have misconducted, misconducted yourself and you are incompetent to the National Assembly. The National Assembly on the 11th of September 2023 debated and voted on the report of the committee and resolved with the requisite two-third majority that you be removed from the office of the public protector on the grounds of misconduct and incompetence. So Ramaphosa is basically telling Busiswe Mkobane that Busiswe, you are incompetent. You don't know what you are talking about. You don't know what you are doing. So we are kicking you out. We are kicking you out. Even if even, even the parliament is agreeing with me that you are you, you, you have misconducted yourself and you are incompetent. The, 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 the committee's report and confirmation of the National Assembly Resolution are attached here in S Annex A. In terms of the Section 194 of the Constitution, when the National Assembly adopts a resolution for the removal of the public protector, the President must remove the public protector from the office. I therefore heavily inform you that you are heavily removed from the office of the public protector in terms of section 194 of the of the constitution on the grounds of misconduct and incompetence. So basically President Ramaphosa fired Busiswe Mkobane. So I know people are, 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 are confused with this whole thing but today I just want to focus on Busiswe Mkobane and the fact that she learned the hard way that politicians are not to be trusted. I mean, irregardless of what these people are saying in public you can never trust a politician. Yes guys I'm talking about Supama Humapelo. You know that Supama Humapelo is a former Northwest Premier and, and he's still the ANC member of parliament and this guy was going around actually basically Telling South Africans that the African National Congress will never vote with the DA to remove the public protector. I will never participate in removing the public protector. So on Monday, Supama Umapelo voted with the ANC, with the DA to remove the public protector. And now people are calling him a traitor, people are calling him a liar, and all sorts of names. So this is one of the videos where Supama Umapelo basically declared his love for, for, for Busiswe Mkweban. ANC MP and former Northwest Premier Supra Mahumapilo has vowed that the party will not support the DA motion to remove public protector Musisiwe Mkwebane from office. Mahumapilo says that they will use their majority in parliament to block her removal. He claims that Mkwebane is doing a sterling job. There's no decision to remove the public protector. The decision of the ANC is that uh, chapter 9 institutions must be supported and if there are issues that are relating to chapter 9 institutions, those issues must be ventilated according to the rules of procedure that have been, uh, that have been laid. Personally, as Supra Mahumapilu, the member of parliament, I see no reason to remove uh, the current public protector. She's doing a marvelous job. ANC MP <laughs> and former Northwest. You hear that, guys? Like, this guy went around saying that Busiswe Mkwabane, man, like, he loves Busiswe Mkwabane. There is no need. The ANC will not vote with the Democratic Alliance to remove the Busiswe Mkwabane. That's what, that's what Supra Mahomapelu said, man. I'm telling you. There is no way that the African National Congress here in Parliament who are going to support the motion of the opposition in the form of the GA to remove the public protest. It's not going to happen. So I just thought we must make it very clear 
There is not going to happen. Listen. There is. This is exactly what I mean, man, when I say that you can never trust a politician, man. These guys will say whatever that's going to make them look good at the time. This is why I don't trust these politicians right now when they are telling us that we are not going to work with the ANC, we are not going to work with the EFF, we are not going to work with the DA. I know politicians are saying everything so that, we, so that they can garner enough votes. These guys will say anything to stay in power. So this is, this is one of the reasons why Super Mahomapilo was actually... And still be, being harassed and <laughs> there's no honor man amongst these people man there is no honor amongst these people man but there's no honor man but like super mahomet pillow was out there saying that i love this woman this woman is doing a wonderful job there is no need for the african national congress to remove this woman until this woman started saying that i want to look into parapala damn then everything collapsed, man. Everything collapsed. You can see that on Monday. This is the react. This is what Super Mahuma Pelo said. Mahuma Pelo, S O R. Mahuma Pelo, S O R. We are. Are, 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 are you voting with with the ANC and the DA to remove the public protector from the office? Are you voting to remove the public protector? Yes or no? Come on, boy. Yes. <laughs> man, you can see this is why people are laughing, man. They, they, people are laughing because they know. They know what Mahuma Pelo said in public, man. They know what Mahuma Pelo said in public. They know this guy said that the African National Congress will never vote with the Democratic Alliance to remove Busisu Mkweba. <laughs> There's no honor amongst politicians, man. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Supra Mahuma Pilu, the former Premier of Northwest and the Member of Parliament of the African National Congress, the man who went around saying that you will never vote with the DA to remove the public protector. Are you going to stick up to your own weights, or are you going to remove the the the, the acting the, the public protector from the office? Are you voting with the DA and the African National Congress to remove the public protector from the office? What is your answer, Supra Mahuma Pilu? Mahuma Pelo, S O R. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> guys, these guys are turning on each other, man. It's not going to be so hard for them to turn against you, man. That's why I'm saying that do not trust what these politicians are saying, man. These guys are saying everything. These guys are saying everything to stay in power, man. You can hear, even with the DA, the DA is going around saying that they will not work with the ANC. Him and Mashaba are walking around telling the people that he and Action SA will not be working with the ANC. But I'm telling you today that after the votes have been counted in, when it's time for negotiations, everyone is going to be negotiating with everyone. I'm telling you guys, for real, I'm telling you. So one person in particular, who, who, who thought that Super Mahuma Pelo was going to stick up to his own guns, man. I'm talking about Carl Nias, man. You remember that Carl Nias is, is also expelled there in the ANC. He was in the Veterans League, man. Carl Nias thought that Monday was going to determine Super. Monday is, the, Monday is the day that is going to show South Africa what kind of a man Super Mahuma Pelo is. So Carl Nias says that let me put let me be brutally honest tonight i am hurt and deeply disappointed by super mahuma pelo i have expected so much better from them they are amongst many mps who have sold out today during the section 194 impeachment vote but they really should have known and done better i have said it before we i have said it before the vote took place that every mp who voted for mkwebane's impeachment should be named and shamed Kalnias is not happy with the Super Mahoma Pelo, man. He says Super Mahoma Pelo is basically a sellout. Super Mahoma Pelo, you are a sellout. In the eyes of Kalnias, you are a sellout. 
you need to understand that you need to understand that the guys who are in the radical economic transformation movement are not happy with you right now they are not happy with the work that you've done man they are not happy with the fact that for years for years we've been around in the media telling everybody that we'll never vote for for the removal of of of, of, of the of, of public protector Busiswem Kobani. you've said that the african national congress will not vote with the da because that is against the party man that is against the party so kanias is, is, is calling you a sellout he's calling you a, a, a sellout he says that you sold out to the movement because for some reason kanias thought that super mama pillow was gonna was gonna risk his 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 his, 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 his parliamentary salary for his for for for, for these radical economic uh, uh, economic transformation ideology kalni also thought that super mama pillow was ready man to go against the african national congress but only to find out that man it's so cold outside the african national congress it's cold man even right now kalni has his own political party man things are so bad Things are crazy, man, there in African National Congress. But Super Mahoma was not going to sit back and allow Kalnias to basically call him a sellout. That is one thing that Super Mahoma was never going to wait for, guys. I'm trying to load up that tweet where Super Mahoma responded to Kalnias basically calling him a sellout. So, what do you think about this whole thing, man? Do you think that Super Mahoma did a good decision by by by, by voting out of Busiswe Mkwebani? Or do you think that Super Mahoma is a sellout for saying that he will never vote for, 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 for the removal of public protector, but at the end of the day, he voted to, to, to remove the public protector? So, after the after Kalnias' tweets, after Kalnias' tweets, no, 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 I'm trying to pause this one first. After Carl Nias' tweet, Super Mahoma Pillow was not happy about that. And he made Carl understand that, guy, I'm not happy about that. And you are not going to call me out just like that as if I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm your boy. He says, I am not an Areta member and will never be one. I owe you no accountability on, our, on how I respond to my ANC political complexes of the moment, Carl. I am not an Arenda member and I will never be one. Arenda is, is, the, is, the, is the political party of Kalnias. I think it stands for... Uh, what, what does Arenda stand for, man? Because I think the R is a Radical Economic Transformation Alliance. Oh, I think it's African Radical Economic Transformation. Yeah, I think it's African Radical Economic Transformation Alliance. So, Super Mahomet says, I am not the member and I will never be one. I owe you no accountability on how I respond to my ANC political complexities of the moment, Carl. You need to understand that I don't owe you nothing. I'm a member of parliament. These people have kicked me out. I am no longer the, 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 the premier of, of, of Northwest. I am now solely depending on this salary of the parliament. And you want me to risk that for this radical economic transformation idea, ideology. I am not going to do that. As Supra Mahoma Pelo, I am not going to do that. And Kalnias was not was like, Bra, you are a sellout no matter what you say. Supra Mahoma Pelo, you are a sellout because he says, Supra, I have never tried to, rec to recruit you to Areta. Anyhow, as a member of the ANC, you can be a member of Areta. This is not about Areta. It is about you. Unfortunately, it is always about how one responds to the complexities of the moment that exposes one's that exposes one's integrity or lack thereof. Supra, I have never tried to recruit you to Areta. Anyhow, as a member of the ANC, you cannot be the member of Areta. This is not about Areta. This is about you. Unfortunately, it is always about how one responds to the complexities of the moment that exposes one's integrity or lack thereof. So I think right now we have a fight right now in South Africa, man. All of these guys who believed in radical economic transformation are fighting. I'm telling you, facts. All of these guys are fighting. You remember that even right now, Kalnias is a, there's a bit of clash between Kalnias and Isma Khashoggi. Who would have thought? These guys are preached about the radical economic transformation, man. But right now, it seems like there's a bit of friction between Isma Khashule and Karl Nias because I think Isma Khashule, on when he launched his new political party, he said that he had an agreement with the Areta executives. I think those are the Karl Nias and stuff. And they, they agreed that Areta will stay as a non-profit organization. It will not be registered as a political party. They agreed that Areta 
will will operate as a non-profit organization but it will not be arrest, it, it will not be registered as a political party and he is disappointed in Kalmi has for for, for 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 registering a reader as a political party knowing exactly that he was working to to to, to, to open up his own political party. Now, the two guys who believed in the same ideology have two separate political parties. It makes no sense, man. South Africa is a movie. I'm telling you, guys. I'm telling you. So, Kalnias went further and he, he, he posted this video. Apparently, this is one of the videos where Super Mahoma Pelo basically confessed his love for, for the public protector, man. What's happening with this guy? So, so do you think that Super Mahoma Pelo did a good thing by voting for public protector to be kicked out of the office and keeping his parliamentary seat? Or do you think that Super Mahoma Pelo should have went against the African National Congress and voted no? Because you know that, um, who is this lady? This lady who wanted to be the president, man. didn't even attend that, that whole shenanigan there on Monday. So this is one of the videos that was posted by Carl Nias where Super Mahoma Pelo basically confessed his love for 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 Busi Swim Kwebani. Remember that uh, even that uh, even if the leadership can come up with a party line, if the party line is not consistent with the policy positions and the political posture <laughs> of the African National Congress, a member of the ANC in their conscience, and I'm not the only one by the way, we are about six or seven in Parliament who didn't support this motion. In your, based on your conscience, you raise that with the leadership. That's why I wrote a letter as a member of parliament to the SGO. And I said, my conscience does not allow me to vote with the Democratic Alliance. You, you, I, I don't know if you saw members of parliament after the results were announced there uh, in parliament. They couldn't celebrate. So why can't they celebrate? Because comrades know that that position, even if it came from the leadership, that position was contrary to what the ANC stands for. We can't work with the Democratic Alliance. We can't. Unless it's explained if there is a, a reasonable technical reasons. What is the technical reason? But in the caucus, there was no explanation. The leadership came and said, comrades, parliament is sitting here too. Uh, when you go in there, you vote for, for the motion. And we wanted to raise questions there. We're not allowed to raise uh, the questions. The ANC is a democratic organization. You express your views through the uh, democratic process of the ANC. If you are defeated, you accept the view and the decision of the majority. If you think you still want to raise those issues, you raise them within the structures of the ANC. That's why I'm one of the people who wrote to the SGO. And until today, we have not been called to come and explain why we did not vote in line with the dictates of the caucus of the African. I'm not the first one. And there are members of the ANC, for instance, when there was a vote against the President Zuma to go in Parliament, they didn't follow uh, that motion. Remember, uh, people were told that they must, uh, uh, they must follow the party line. And the party line was that you don't vote with the with the opposition. It was <laughs> Supra. You said that you are not going to vote with the opposition, man. So we are asking you one last more one, one one like this is the last time, man. After this, we are done. We are closing the stream. We are done. Facts, we are done. Supra, are you voting with the African National Congress and the Democratic Alliance to remove Public protector Busiswem Kwebani in her office as the public protector of South Africa. Mauma Bello, S O R. Please, man, please. This time, please. Please, man. This is the third time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> People are laughing, man. People are laughing. They know that what you say on the media, like, it means nothing, man. It means nothing. This man cannot risk. He cannot risk. His, he cannot risk his parliamentary seat, man. They've already moved, removed him as the premier of, the, of, of 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 Northwest, I think. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this whole thing, man? Do you think that Super Mahoma Pelo 
made a right decision to vote for the removal of Busisi Mkwebane or do you think that he's a sellout just like Carl Nias? Do you think that Super Mahoma Pelu is a sellout for, for voting to remove the, the, the public protector Busisi Mkwebane? Guys, what are your thoughts? Please tell me on the comment section. Please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to, and the most important part guys, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mnandi <laughs> man.